Hey everyone, as promised, I'm uh, I'm starting this video on how to cook a hot dog with 120 volts AC. Of course, uh, this kind of voltage can be very dangerous, and I really don't recommend that you do this at home unless you do have a knowledge of electronics. Uh, in which case, uh, do this at your own risk. I cannot accept responsibility in case if someone um, doesn't know what they're doing and they cause something to go wrong. So, to get this started, I have a couple hot dogs that I got. Okay. This can actually represent a human um, with a way that conducts electricity. Basically, I've just got some nails and I've got it wrapped around some um, I've got the wire wrapped around the nails and that's basically what I'm using to introduce the current into the hot dog. Um, like I said before, I don't recommend that you do this because it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Plug it in. And I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see it. Ah. It's trying to sizzle. I don't know if you can hear that on over the video or not, but it is sizzling. Quite well. There it goes. By the way, I don't recommend uh, if someone does do this experiment and they end up eating it, I don't recommend eating the burnt ends because uh, if you do this experiment, you'll see why um, it kind of tastes the way that it smells. So it's not very appetizing. So this is a 120 volts AC. Um, I wish I knew what the resistance was of the hot dog, um, but I don't, so I can't really uh, total up the wattage that this thing uses up. Um, but yeah, I wish I could, but I don't know this all the information that I need to know. What do you say we try and make this more interesting and add a capacitor bank? Okay, so I have added a uh, two microfarad capacitor bank. Um, I added those in parallel, um, so it should. Um, so it, each of those capacitors is 2 microfarad, and since they're in parallel, uh, it increases the capacitance to 4 microfarads. Of course, that's really not much, um, that's really not much to add to it, but let's see if it adds enough that it can add a little bit of excitement to the experiment. And as I always say, when I don't know how uh, an experiment's gonna go, fire in the hole.
Seems like it added a pretty nice initial burst, but it doesn't seem like it did much more than that. <clears throat> that is warm, though. Okay. So the results... The end by the neutral wire actually, was actually kind of warm. Um, the one by the hot wire, though, uh, it's quite cold. I think I left it in a little bit too long. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that all works exactly. I'm just experimenting. So, now for the hot dog buns. Like I said before, you don't want to eat the ends because it's kind of burnt and toasted, so... Okay. Bon appétit. Okay, I actually found out that this... Um, one of my problems that I was having actually was a, uh, I guess the nail didn't have good surface area. Um, I actually don't recommend the setup because the connections really aren't that good. Um, once again, only do this experiment if you know about electricity and you have experience with it. Um, cause yeah. Um, so here we go, there's power going to it. Uh, it'll start sizzling here soon, so... I should hear a little bit right now, even. I'd say it's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.